Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Last interval, but no, still not finding the right intro for this one though, but I'll find it in time. We searched Holly Jolly Village in hopes of finding the whereabouts of Princess Peach, but instead came face to face with the Shroobs, the alien forces attacking the Mushroom Kingdom's past. With helps from our baby selves, we were able to come out victorious eventually. However, our airship crashed in straight into Baby Bowser's castle. And uh, this time, we are gonna be exploring Baby Bowser's castle, hopefully reuniting with the others and locating the time hole that we have heard has appeared in the area to return to our own time. So let's get started with two mushrooms and eight green gels. Should not have any shortage of all of these things. You, Man, I really am having a shortage of being able to land on these enemies, right? How is it that I am landing with the enemy perfectly in the middle of the two bros? How does that happen so often to me? I don't know if they have like tiny hitboxes or what, but it's kind of annoying. Well, uh, Goombas, new enemies, haven't fought these yet, ever in life. <laughs> you just jump on them, they don't really have a whole lot of health, and I'm not gonna go all out with my bros attacks, I just kinda wanna show the counter attack timing right there, it is kinda nice. Not really all that complicated, they do have a chance of dropping, yes, mushrooms. So if the item blocks are not generous enough for your liking, you might be able to build up your inventory of items by just fighting these guys. Not difficult at all, might as well fight them all that you can. And I do want to say up front, I recommend that you fight every enemy that you see on the field in your first romp through an area. It might not seem like it now, but this is an occasionally difficult game. It's fine most of the time, but every now and again, it can catch you off guard. If you don't know, the North American release was the first one to come out and is by far the most difficult. Other versions greatly rebalanced the difficulty and made a lot of enemies easier. I am technically playing the hard mode here, and if you're playing the North American release as well, then I recommend fighting at least every enemy you see on your first time through. As per my own advice, we'll go on clearing out this area. It would really hurt to see those question mark blocks when you're up above and having to jump down from those narrow pathways to collect them after all that, so we'll get those. Uh, this right here. We have an X on the ground. Easy way to remember that. Remember where you see those, as they are kind of helpful for the future, but we can't do anything right now. And we also have a new enemy, Boo. The eye that they uncover will show which bro that they're attacking. Just look at whichever one they're looking at. They'll appear behind you, and you can jump on them to counterattack them. They might be ghosts, but you can still physically attack them, no problem. It's going for Mario again. Right before it appears, jump, and there you go. I guess right when it appears, not quite before, right when it starts fading in. And for being dead, they have quite a lot of health. Well, so much for that. Took care of you. And why not? And there is one Goomba who evaded capture all this time, and by capture, I mean murder. Got two Goombas right here. I guess I could use my green shells on them. We haven't used these as the bros yet. Use the A and B buttons, it is the same attack. However, as we are the bros and not the babies, we are able to do more than one damage per hit because we have higher attack stats and it is based on that. Isn't good to use these in battles against boos as they are flying enemies and the shell will just simply travel under them and you won't do any damage, but it makes very quick work of the Goombas if you feel like wasting such resources on the lowliest of lowly, but it makes for good practice and Lord knows I need it. Get two mushrooms for our troubles right there. Traded in one green shell for two mushrooms. Can't complain about that. And I guess now there's nothing left to do here than head up to the scaffoldings and walk with our D-pad, not our circle pad, because I am not about to drive myself that mad trying to do this with precision. Get over this way. Top of that. Just trying to be careful. And there we go. I don't know, because he's Luigi. Mario. Oh. I always freak out when I see that text box because 
I always think that it's Mario saying Mario, and I'm like, wait, what? Mario like says something, and then it's actually stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Just every time I see this particular scene, I always like for a second think that, and then it all comes rushing back to me that I thought that the last time I saw it. Uh, he is a cushion nation device. I, I really don't think that these are actually real words. <laughs> Baby Luigi would feel assured by the sight of my luxurious leather. You know, we could also open him up and have the clothes serve as even more padding. I'd personally be a lot more concerned about this because if Baby Luigi falls into that lava, Luigi no longer exists. <laughs> we have located and been reunited with the babies. Back to adventure! Well, um, bye. Mario! Allow me a, br a brief apology, I was rushing. I forgot to mention, how to move as a group of four. You see, the babies are unable to understand my communicating. What a situation. you feel bad for poor Luigi, just remember, Luigi himself as a child agrees that Luigi getting hurt is funny. So he likes it. <laughs> yes, they are not helpless. I suggest the four of you join forces and move on. We shall join forces with babies. Yes, proceeding as a group of four is rather vital. Look at the upper right hand part of the screen. When the icons look like this, Mario and Luigi can move. Go on, move about. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. Sure. When you want the juveniles to move on their own, press X or Y. Go on, little humans, move. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. I guess to be fair, checking to make sure babies are capable of walking is a pretty important thing to check before you send them into a lava castle. In this way, control switches between the adult Mario and Luigi and the baby-sized ones. Yes, but there is even more informa informationizing, and that this is extremely convenient. Mario and Luigi can give babies piggyback rides and move about together. It is simple to do! Mario and Luigi get near the babies, the tykes climb up automatically. Try it and see. It's so cute, we're gonna be moving with piggyback rides. The babies can also initiate the move by moving close to Mario and Luigi. Now then, let's go find our poor missing companions. Back to adventure! I love the way Mario said babies in that cutscene. It's really adorable, actually. Open the door by standing on the four minion switch. Prince Bowser made a mess of the castle, so use caution when opening doors. I thought at the start of that 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 was baby Bowser writing that sign and then <laughs> it quickly became apparent that it was Kamek and that's kind of funny. So as a quartet, we are able to open these doors and activate these switches whenever we see them. If a place is too high for adults to reach, the prince will use X or Y to jump off a minion. If the prince is successful, the minion will then praise him. Prince Bowser is so rad. <laughs> so the baby's function is a little bit of a high jump. You can toss them up to higher ledges and if you ever see these warp pipe blocks, it will call the party members not currently with you to your side, allowing you to reunite. You can kind of see the puzzle solving possibilities we have here when we have four characters, instead of just the usual two that we've had up to this point. Uh, babies can also, well, babies can also apparently read. <laughs> Lower platforms are for a fine, e evil young prince. The higher platforms are for when he becomes king. Holes in the walls are small for small enough for baby Bowser, or Prince, or prince Bowser to enter. I can't talk. I was just showing that if you see any sort of low area like this, it is small enough for the babies to fit inside of, and there might be some secrets beyond that point for you that only the babies can collect. Got another X in the ground right there, so it's another thing that we want to remember for later. It's not super important, but it would be worth your time to do so, and uh, I can't actually... Oh, uh, no, I have to jump up here. Thought we were practicing moving as a group of four, but apparently not. Get another mushroom drop. Two more mushrooms. They're just pouring on the items, man. I knew Bowser was so generous. Maybe it's his fault that we grew up so big and strong and we're able to beat him in every fight and all of our adventures over the years. Well, um, hop on this switch. Do another high jump. 
Got a save album right here. I, I, I guess we could hit this and just see what the new photograph is looking like. Wow, that's uh, very worth our time. Yes, very happy that I did that. I think I saw maybe two pixels miss the line to the left. I don't really know. Oh, there we go. Grab you. Jump up that way. Hit the switch. Lower that down. And you can kind of see just how clever these things can be. This isn't like obviously super ultra clever mega though, but it shows you kind of an idea of what to expect coming up and gives you an idea of what it is we're going to be doing as a whole. Prince! Prince Bowser! Aha! You! You little red and green insect! Didn't I try to kidnap you once? Yeah, I did. Boy, that didn't work out so well, and uh, you don't quite look so little anymore. And you're much hairier, too. Weird, but none of that matters. You like bothering our pudding master of evil, don't you? Then I'll bother you up! Ah, uh, the time that you tried to kidnap us. Good times, good times. I'm happy that you remember. And that's not a Goomba. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Well, uh, we have the introduction of piggyback moves in battle. Oh, it is fantabulous. Let me show you how this action command works. Now, Mario, you attack with a jump if you follow. I do follow. It is what I do best. Uh, jumping, not following. That's Luigi's job. So... When we have both the, both the bro and baby together, we press X to do the first jump as baby Mario. Mario will dismount, and then we can do his jump with the A button, giving us an extra attack for a little bit of extra damage. With Luigi, same concept. You, just, you press Y right before landing, and then press B, of course. Allowing you to do some kind of fun combo attacks. Next, bros items. When using these items on piggyback, you can use the baby buttons as well. Use the A and B buttons as usual, but now you also use the X and Y buttons. Depending on the item, the use of X and Y buttons may change if you follow. When piggyback, the description on the top screen will change, so look closely. When using the green shell, press the baby button when the shell hits the enemy. Yes, all right, Mario, attack with the green shell. So this is our first instance of not just a bros attack, but a quartet attack. The babies are now worked into the attack as well. I guess maybe it's more of a trio attack in this case because it looks like Baby Luigi does crap all in this though, but hey. So we'll attack using this, and right before striking the enemy, we can now also press the X button for extra damage. You don't have to do this, but it does help if you can get the timing of it unless you get even more out of your attacks. Think of it like an advanced technique that you can do if you want to get in a little bit of extra damage and if you want a little bit of extra challenge. Gives you more to learn after you feel like you got the attacks down. So it's going to go A, X, B, X, A, X. It's going to go like that in that pattern, so let's try it. Oh, it's just going to show us. I think after this we do have to get the timing right, so... Yes, up, oh, A. Is a little bit tricky, and we were only actually doing one damage there some of the time, though, but we'll try it again with Luigi. In this case, Baby Luigi is used, so it's gonna be B Y A Y B. I personally find it a lot more awkward to attack using the Y button than the X button. I can usually do the X one just fine, though, but we'll try it. Killed the enemy, didn't I? Yuck! How long do I have to do this? I'm in a hurry. Now then, he will leave us to our own devices. Yes. Attack yet again. That's what I'm talking about. All 14 damage right up front. I guess they don't have 15 HP after all. Because we gotta jump on the boo. Getting lucky right there. Lucky hits with the babies are always just so nice, though, because it's basically attacking with two bros at the same time and not just, like, half of an extra attack a la Baby Kangaskhan. So we do that. That's the end of that battle. Finally get that fourth level up for Mario. I was wondering when that was going to happen. I, I guess it would technically be his third level up, though, but hey. And while we're on the screen... I want to just draw attention to this level up theme because it might be my favorite level up theme in any RPG ever. Just listen. Yeah! Doing a little bit better on that roulette. Not quite a four, but I'll definitely take it over what I have been doing. And I just, I love this song. It sounds kind of chill, but it also sounds very congratulatory. It's like the game's giving you a thumbs up and just being like, yeah, you're awesome. 
just always feels so satisfying to hear it. Technically, this is just the battle victory theme, though, but you oftentimes don't get to hear it that long unless you wait on it, so I kind of think of it more as a level up theme than just a victory theme. Let's go for power on Luigi. Plus two. Better than a kick in the teeth. Like a plus one. <laughs> Prince Bowser! Okay, he's off there. I gotta say though, as we're making our way through this, I hope you're kinda getting to see that maybe if you were a little bit apprehensive about the story featuring baby characters prominently, oh, uh, new enemy though, but uh, I'll mention that in a second. Um, I actually really like the inclusion of the babies here. They could have made it really annoying with them crying all the time, and there is a little bit of crying, of course, though, and they could have made lots of poop jokes in a lot of cases, though, but they don't really do that. They just make them really adorable, and I like the interactions that the uh, bros have with them, as well as Baby Bowser's castle just being super adorable and the Koopa Cruiser itself. I like the fact that they're here, and I wasn't really expecting to. Uh, oh, no! I got hit by the fake out right there. Yeah, this guy is a boom guy. He, if he points right before he fires, that's a fake out, and you have to wait for him to do his proper attack after that. If he doesn't point, he'll just shoot normally. Enemies do have tells like that as well. In addition to who they're going to be attacking, they might also have fake outs to make you dodge at the wrong time. If you jump on him enough, though, his helmet will just simply break, and he'll have to call for another one. It's kind of amusing. No pointing that time, so we can just jump right over it. No way to counterattack him directly. We can just destroy the bullet bill on him. And I think... Oh, that was it. I was about to say, I'm not quite sure if he still takes damage if you jump on the cannon, though, but I guess he does. Usually I deal with him using green shells, but... Wanted to show the timing of his attacks, because I figure that that's a helpful thing to show. Got another spot in the ground right there. Let's go. Got a level up for baby Mario in that fight. I'll go for HP. Plus three. I like this new trend of how things are going. I would lie and say that I know what I'm doing on this roulette now and that I've gotten the hang of the timing, but I did say that I did just say that I'd be lying though, so I really screwed my plans there. Let's see. Uh, no, there's just threes on that. There's some fours on this, which I got the opposite of. Cool. Let it be known, kids, the opposite of four is one. Math lessons with me, yes, but. I hope that the babies have been surprising you like they did me, because I wasn't expecting to like them at all on my first playthrough, but they're actually really nice, and I think that they, I do prefer them being there in this case as opposed to the, um, as opposed to not being here. Got our first instance of a warp pipe that requires all four of the quartet to be on. I like that word quartet, probably going to be using that a lot to describe the group. And we got another save album. We're... Yeah, we've made it to a new section of Bowser's Castle. Still haven't located the time hall, but we did reunite with our baby selves and made a lot of progress, so I think we're gonna end things off here. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we go deeper into Bowser's Castle and hopefully find the whereabouts of that time hall so that we may, well, return to our own time. See you guys then.